What's up, dudes? Welcome to a game that, if you haven't already guessed by now, by the little lady down here, or the rotating car, it's about time we have some fun and go back on memory lane of Arcade's past. It's time to go fast, folks. And probably one of my favorite arcade racers ever. It's like, to me, this game is... Like, you can't think bowling alleys without thinking this. USA. Yes. We're playing Cruising USA. Why? Because I like this game. Two, it's, I like this game. It's my channel. I want to play Cruising USA. I'm going to play Cruising USA. Automatic. We're going to go not with the muscle car, the La Bamba. The Devastator. We're gonna go with the Itali- the, uh, the red one. Because I could never pronounce the name of the car as a kid, so I always called it the red one. We're going on the red one! But yeah. Um. So main reason why I wanted to play this game is just- Ooh, Bikini Lady! Bikini Lady! Woo! Oh! Um, one of the main reasons why I wanted to play this is just because, um, I recently went bowling with some friends and like we like we typically do like we typically always do we we don't start bowling until after we see if they have any arcades and we we step in and we see the arcades first thing we hear is cruising yeah and we heard the cruising usa and i'm like all right and it's just oh i hit a cop car i'm a felon Oh no, I got a record now. Um, but yeah, so, and just like, we, we threw some, it was one of those Cruising USA, like, arcade cabinets that had more than one seat in it, so like, multiple people could play. And, it, and it's just like, dude, I just remember, like, the second we started playing and everything like that, it was just like, God, I forgot how much fun this game was. And for the longest time, for the longest time of me, when I was younger, I didn't know that this game came out on the Nintendo 64. Because I just, I didn't know. Uh, I knew Cruisin' Exotica was on the N64, but I didn't know Cruisin' USA was. So when I found that out, I didn't find out until I was much older, but I did find out, and it ended up being one of those... Oh, I hit a car! It ended up being one of those games that, like, I could not help but own. Because I, I loved it that much, you know? It, this is definitely one of those games that's like, I'm not going to say it's like on the li the lines of like Mario Kart or anything like that as far as like racing classic, but it's one that I remember so well that it just is like, nostalgia is crazy when it's like, I got the, the trophy lady! It's just like, it's two frames of this. Two frames of that. <laughs> Dig it! Oh, gosh. Dude, this game takes me back so much. Enter a name. Let's see, eh? Haha, <laughs> cause I'm a grown up. Let's go. You guys should already know this. Anytime they allow me to put a name in, I'm always going to put butt. Why am I gonna put butt? Because it makes me giggle, and I like to giggle. It's fun for me. So let's keep going. All right. So we just got this one done, so I think the next one, we'll just keep going easy, easy until we get to, uh, well, we get to medium. Or at least until I feel like the, the episode is going on long enough. So here we go. Ready? Set. Go! Am I doing the same track? Or they, did they just seriously give me the same track? Oh well. I think they did. I think they did give me the same track. What? Why would they give me the same track? We're gonna, we're gonna check. We're gonna check. Earn faster cars. Cruise the US. The red one. <laughs> and <laughs> the one thing you didn't realize this is like the, the little uh, PNG clip of the lady. It's actually in the garage. She's like still in the garage. Like, I guess that was, like, a PNG placeholder, <laughs> so when it rotates, you see it. I always found that funny. Oh, man. Just, like, let me know, let me know if you guys ever played Cruising USA. Like, did you guys, like, when you guys went to arcades or anything like that, 
Like, did you play Cruisin' USA? Because I know I did. I played this a lot. This is definitely one of those games is like, if I'm near an arcade, then I'm gonna play it. Like, no question. No question. Because I always have my go-to arcades. It's like, I'll always play TMNT. I will always play, like, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. I will always play, like, you know, Time Crisis or something like that. But if I see Cruise in USA, please believe I will dump 50 cents into that machine just so I can hear Cruise in, yeah. If I hear that, I'm happy. Because they remind me of a simpler time when video games only cost 50 cents to play. Well, let me rephrase that. It was 50 cents to play in most of the arcade slash bowling alleys I went. Because if you went to those hoity-toity, like, rich people arcades, you had to pay, like, a dollar. And I'm just like, that's highway robbery, man. Where it's like, oh, you want to play Pac-Man? 50 cents. You want to you wanna play Street Fighter 2? 75 cents. You want to play Cruising USA because it's an actual thing you have to sit in? A dollar. I'm like, dude, come on. I was like, I was like 11. <laughs> And I was like, I don't, your parents don't give you that much money when you go to the arcade. They give you like a dollar and just like, have fun. I did it! Two frames of animation. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, that is a tight fitting shirt. It, it looks like body paint. I think it actually is. I think it actually is. Because if I remember in the arcade, she's actually wearing like a bikini top. And I guess they just like put like a t-shirt over it for, for the N64 version. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Like, because honestly, if there was a way for me to play the arcade version of this game, I totally, absolutely would. Just because the arcade version is really... It's this, but it just... It looks slightly bit better, and it runs a little bit better. I think that's, like, the main thing when it comes down to it. Oh. Oh. But, yeah. I don't know, man. Like... That's the other question. Was Cruising USA on any other console at the time? Like, whoa! I went through a building. <laughs> uh, but if you guys know, if you do, got, if any of you guys know that were, that watch this, let me know if Cruising USA was on anything else. Because the only console I remember it being on was N64. I could be totally wrong, and it could be it could have been on other platforms. It could have been on the PlayStation, the Dreamcast, the Saturn. I don't know. But if it wasn't, let me know. Because I've always been curious. It's like, because I only remember it on the N64. But like, I don't know what. Maybe in like my weird psyche, I feel like I saw this on the PlayStation. But I could be wrong. It might be Cruising Exotica that I'm thinking. Oh no! No yellow car! No yellow car! Okay. Uh, but yeah. And here's the thing too. Cruising Exotica didn't really didn't really care much for it. A lot of people like that one better than Cruising USA because they say graphically it looks better, it plays a lot smoother, and all that. So, oh God! I clipped through the building and it resets me. I love this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, I says I feel like Cruising Exotica may be a better game, but I just I feel like that it doesn't it doesn't hold the nostalgia for me like Cruising USA does. Maybe, maybe it's just because I'm weird. Maybe it's just because I enjoy Cruising USA too much. But I've always, I've always like been partial to this version. Like nothing against Cruising Exotica. Let's be real here. Nothing against it. But I've always just preferred USA. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I did it. Give me my trophy, two framed lady. Yeah, that is a body painted shirt. That is the. It looks like it's an actual shirt, but yeah, they put that over the model. I could tell. I could tell. My perv eyes are strong. I don't know why I said that. But yeah. This was just one of those games, man. It's like, and especially if you played it with buddies. Oof. This game was super fun when you played it with friends. It's like, if you would have, like, four dudes with you, all, like, um... All sitting in a row playing this. It's like, you know how fun beat em ups are when you play them with buddies? This is pretty much the same thing, but it's with a racing game. And it's so much fun. But, yeah, man. I just, I feel like, I feel like the, the arcade, like I've said this in a lot of my other arcade videos. Like, I just feel like the arcade is just, it's, 
it's a lost form of like I guess a lost form of togetherness if that's the right way I'm thinking of saying it because there was just there was something about the arcade that when you and your buddies would go and you would hang out and stuff like that you would you would just chill out and just be in a place where you all can just like enjoy something like and you would all and it wasn't it wouldn't be about like you know who who is it who's better or whatever it's like if you and four buddies wanted to play a beat em up you could and if you and four buddies wanted to play a racing game or wanted to play a light gun shooter and stuff like that there was just there's certain things about the arcade that you can't have at the home like for instance like like the thing with uh, cruising USA you can get a steering wheel for your console everybody can do that anybody can do that but there's something about sitting in that actual arcade cabinet that made it feel like a lot more special especially if you were sitting with your buddies and like the same thing goes with like the light gun shooters and everything like that I like that there's the two guys with the shirt off. It makes me laugh. Ha! <laughs> I like how they move at like two frames a second. It's just... <laughs> two frames of that. It's just good. <laughs> oh man, it's so great. Alright, I'm gonna do one more race and then I'm gonna call it. Because I swear, like, this is one of those games that, like, if I get too into it, I will play it for hours. Because I remember playing this when I had it on the N64. Hours would go by. Cause, only just because, like, I'm trying to unlock all the cars and stuff like that. That's, like, the main thing. I'm trying to, like, unlock all the cars. Because it's like, you play more, you get faster cars. And I'm like, faster cars, you say? Sign me up. I'm ready for fast cars. I ah! I hate it. This is my least favorite track in this game. Just because there's so many turns in it. And when you're going really, really fast, you can't make the turns properly. Yeah. And plus, this level looks... like It looks a little janky on N64, I'll be real. But... <laughs> it looks a lot better on the in the arcade. Which is, which is easy to say, because a lot of games that originally started in the arcade, before they went to a home console, if the console itself wasn't powerful enough, the, the arcade version would always look better. That's just... That's a given. Uh, you can you can look it up uh, with a lot of these older older games. Oh my god! It's like my tires are made of butter. Okay, we're out of the we're out of the crappy part. Now I just gotta beat this other blue car. I gotta get towards the blue car. Let's go, blue car! Oh yeah! Oh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. All right, all right. We're almost there. We should be almost there should be almost there god the draw distance <laughs> you can tell this is a nintendo 64 game Woo! oh boy oh boy gimme 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 oh god like th another thing too man this game makes me really really want to play outrun like i don't know if you guys ever played outrun oh no i came in second in the last end dang it dig it it's so good it's so good all right well i think i'll call it here for this episode of cruising usa and if you guys enjoyed it let me know and if you have any fond memories of cruising usa or any arcade in general let me know i'm always i'm always wanting to talk about arcade and old school stuff like that with you guys so anyways this was cruising usa i've been benches i love all your faces i'll see you next time see you later